Hello, bonjour, good day. How are you, Gretus? I'm happy to see you. Are you okay? It's your teacher, Anansieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. We have done counting in ones. We have done counting in twos, both forward and backward. Now we are counting in fives. Who can remind me the rule? Yes. Those who are in grade one. Remind me the rule. We say in fives we must have a zero and a five. Okay? If I'm counting from numbers one to ten, I'm saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm supposed to count in fives. What does counting forward in five and backward mean? Forward means plus five. Backward means minus five. So if I'm counting forward, I am supposed to add five on every number that I'm given. And if I'm counting backwards, I'm supposed to reduce the numbers by five. So how do I go about it? I started from zero, so I'm saying one, two, three, four, and five. Move on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So what have you realized about our numbers when we count in five? If this number has a five, for example, the ne first number has a five. The next number will have, if it has a zero, it has a five. The next number will have a zero. Then the next number will have a five. The next number will have a zero. Let's continue. Next number will be, teacher, it is 25. Very good. Then the next number must have a zero, which is that number? 30. Then the next number must have a zero, which is that number? 35. Then the next number must have a zero, which is that number? 40. Then the next must have 45. And now lastly, it has a 50. Wow. Now, if I'm told, fill in the missing numbers. Now I'm counting forward. I'm supposed to fill in the missing numbers from 10, 15, 20, 25. Which one is the missing number here? Ah, now. These ones now ask me to fill in going backward. So which one is the next number there? Missing numbers. Let's see. Let's go to where 10 is. 10 was the number here. So after 10, we went to 15. Then 15 goes to 20. Then after 20, we went to which number? 25. So which one is the next number after 25 that has a zero? The next number after 25 that has a zero is 30. Then you ask yourself, which one is the next number? If I add 30 plus 5, which is the next number that I'm going to get that has a 5? Because this is a 5, a 0, the next number must have a 5. So it will be 35. Now the question is here. I've been given now 35 and I'm being told, reduce these numbers by 5. So I will come here, take away 5, get 30. Take away 5, I get 25. Take away 5, I get 20. Take away 5, so it is 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15. I take away 5. It will be a 10. That is how you are count numbers in fives in the forward and backwards. And remember, these are the numbers that are between number 0 and 50. Now, in the next lesson, you want to find out how do you count forward and backwards in fives with the numbers between 50 to 100. Is this easy? Is it hard? Can we try that? Can we manage? Are we together? Any problem? 
Any question? Now, from here, you're going to write for me numbers. You count in five. Count in five. And write numbers between. Write numbers in five. Write numbers between zero and 50. And you tell me, how many numbers do we have between 0 and 50 when we count in 5? Are we together? Any question up to there? It was nice having you around, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.